Oh wow, this week at Coffee and Tools. Hi everyone. <laughs> Been working on the RV for uh, weeks and weeks and weeks and some pretty cool projects that might be able to apply. If you have a Class A, uh, there's a lot of things that kind of cross over. So we're going to take a look this uh, this episode and see about what we can do with getting a TV in here and uh, floor issues. Hmm. Yeah, this is my uh, this is my carpet that was uh, in the RV, and I've tore I've tore out some of it. There's a lot of comments online and uh, said just about anywhere right now that uh, carpeting in RV is nuts. There was some insulating pad and just some carpet, and you know this is one of those things that if you have a Class A, you probably don't want or you want to minimize how much carpet's in the Class A. And I don't know whoever came up with the idea of putting carpet in a Class A, but that was absolutely nuts. The other thing that's in a Class A, and this is upside down, is a barrel chair. The barrel chair is pretty much in most of your standard layouts in your Class A, right by the door where you come in on the side. Uh, if you have that range of somewhere between 26 and say 36 foot range somewhere in that range You're always going to have a barrel chair like this and it's going to be right by the door uh, We remove the barrel chair remove the carpet. Let's go on. Let's keep going So what did I do? Well, I tore all the carpet out. Well, I didn't tear all of it out I, I would like to have all of it out of here, but I can't so let's have a look and let's, let's. so that was carpeting. There's just a runner there now, but that was carpeted and uh, tore that out of there now. Here's the thing that you might want to consider when you're doing with an RV, dealing with an RV, uh, Class A specifically, and even some of the other ones, some of the C-Class, I've seen them set up similar. Uh, took all the carpeting that was here in this area. So let's take, let's have a quick look. Okay, so this is the new entrance. Uh, I picked some of this up at Lowe's, and some of it was actually from a local flooring place. And I put down a hard uh, a flooring that's similar to what I had. It's not the same. I can't match this for some reason. I, I had a terrible time trying to get it matched up. So we, I just gave up. I said, "All right, we'll just go a little bit darker carpet. You know, darker wood." The carpeting, I left it in the front. I hate carpet. What am I gonna tell you? I hate carpet. The barrel chair was bolted right here by the door. The famous barrel chair. Oh yes, right there. And so what happened here was, once I had the barrel chair, I went to an antique store, found a cabinet, put a TV on it. Now, now with the, so I put a television on top of the cabinet and I come over here, I can sit here or I can sit in my dining room area, once I get all these tools out of here, and I can enjoy the television from any of this side of the RV. I can sit here, I could probably sit in my barrel chair at the front even, turn the TV. Now I put the TV on, on two things. Uh, on the back side of the TV, I did the usual, uh, this, this business here with, a, uh, with this, but I also put plastic feet down at the bottom of the TV. So that she's actually resting on this, but she's being held back here by that uh, and bolted into the cabinet and hope hopefully you get to see a little bit of that these brackets actually come with a television but I use them uh, to reinforce the lumber that I was bolting through to the cabinet and the cabinet this uh, I put a little guard at the front of the cabinet because obviously antique cabinet doesn't really come with something like that and uh, so there you know that sort of given me well, basically everything I need at that point to have a television in this corner uh, the other thing was, was, the, was like I say, was the carpet. Now let's talk about the carpet. Took the barrel chair out, took all the carpet up. I had to, now what I did with the, uh, the couch here, it's kind of awkward, is I unbolted the front of it and lifted it because you don't really need to take the whole thing out. So I just lifted that. Now that seat and the table had to come out and that was about it because I, I had carpet under the dining room table. Where else would you spill coffee first thing in the morning? Duh! But people, you know, I, I still, like I said, I don't understand it. I don't, I, sometimes you, you have to really wonder where the world is going when you, you know, they put carpet in an RV. But 
and I've heard so many comments online about it and I have to agree it is it is just absolutely insane even having it up the front here is not a great idea because it will get stained up but really for quieting the engine and road noise the carpet up here I'm gonna live with it it's okay it ain't, it's not great um, there was a television in the dashboard took that out of there I don't know, uh, I haven't quite finished this project yet, so I shouldn't be showing it maybe, but uh, I'm gonna put an LED, or L, excuse me, USB uh, chargers are gonna go in here. And uh, I'm also gonna put a USB 12 volt system and a USB 110 volt system and a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. And of course, I also have uh, the other thing that's really important, I mean, you gotta have it, right? Is uh, of course, uh, you know, the uh, cup holder. I mean, you know, duh, gotta have that. Uh, this is uh, leftover panels from the flooring and what I did was I just took a pattern cut it up and put some two by fours where the old TV was in there and tried to match the I can't match the dash it's a it's a burled uh, wood finish but I figured if I can match it with dark wood and look similar I win you know so I'm pretty happy with the results like I said, I'm not finished so shouldn't be shown that this wasn't supposed to be shown today but while we're in here hey Guys, girls, hey, let's share, right? There it is. Yeah, we'll be doing uh, finishing that up quite soon. Uh, meantime, there's the uh, basically the flooring and the other place that was flooring. I'll see if I can get under here a little bit, and you sort of see it's kind of dark under here. But the other place that was flooring was between these seats in the dining area, and that was carpeted, and that's crazy. So I put hardwood flooring in. So now I can spill a drink, and you know it'll be a lot easier to clean up something if there is a spill and it won't be a stain in a carpet there for the rest of my life so hey well there you go that's coffee and tools this week uh, the television is in the corner where the barrel chair used to be and just a small wooden cabinet nothing stupid I looked at corner cabinets they wouldn't work uh, what you need is a small uh, cabinet uh, this is an old television cabinet so it's really not even you know uh, we're not even going thinking out of the box really at some point if you look at it it's just a t television you know just regular tv cabinet but it was fairly inexpensive to buy i think i paid a hundred dollars or something for it and uh, nailed it to the floor uh you have to do that uh but i put the i i hid a block of lumber underneath it that i screw the cabinet to the lumber and that that's what holds it in place kind of thing so it won't go rumbling down the road the uh the flooring the tv was really what i wanted to talk about uh, this deal coming up the front here, uh, the television that was in the dash is one of those old, old, it was like 50 pounds of TV. And I, I, when I took it out of there, I realized, you know, it's not space I ever had. I was going to make a cabinet storage out of it or something, and I got thinking about it. I was like, it's on the dash. I want cup holders, USB chargers, up-to-date stuff. So why not? Anyways, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools, and hopefully we'll see you soon.